I'm used to it now. <laughs> You're used to it. You've got a collection, big collection. No, we're collecting, it's extra heavy. Do you store them anywhere at home? Well, I'm actually moving and we have to find a way where we will put them. So okay. now we have to have an extra big, how do you say it? <laughs> place to put them. <laughs> Femke, kick me off then. When you reflect on the year as a whole, what's the first thing that's going to come into your head when you look back at 2024? I think it's been a crazy, crazy year. I've had so many amazing things starting at the World Indoors, where I could run a world record and also one with the 4x4. Then I had a lot of tournaments, including Europeans. I ran the 50.9, 51.3. I think all the medals I did have at the Olympics. The Olympics were really, really an amazing experience. Of course, the hurdles I was a bit unhappy at first, but uh, it's really been an amazing year. And to finish it off like this year, it's uh, yeah, I'm really happy about the season. It's been a long year, and that consistency that you've had over many different uh, disciplines, hurdles, you must be delighted to kind of win that. Well. Yeah, I'm really happy that I can always be consistent and that I can pick when it's needed. Um, yeah, I'm just happy to be there. I'm happy always to show up. I'm happy to figure out the 400 hurdles now, still with my 40 stride and how you run fast and everything. And yeah, I just love to race. Also, now after Olympics, I still get the butterflies when I'm in front of the lines, so that's great. And I enjoyed it. And Paris, how was that for you? the first night with the mix really it was really crazy but I think the night of my 400 hurdles I came into the stadium and I saw so much orange and it was absolutely crazy and it was really one of the highlights of my career also the victory lap where I saw so many Dutch people so many friends and family were in the stands it's uh yeah it's really been one of the best tournaments I've ever raced at and I enjoyed it so 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 much it's such a nice experience and just on that I think one thing that people love about you so much is not just the individual to be ready for these post-Olympic, you know, diamond races? It was a bit tough, I must say. I was quite tired, but I am feeling physically better than I ever did after a tournament. Usually I'm pretty wrecked during the 4x4 with my final, and this time it was pretty good, so that was really nice. And I must say, I just enjoy racing so much. I think you train a whole season so hard to get into your peak shape, which I had at the Olympics, and then it's not just gone. Of course, your body's tired, you're mentally tired, but it's not just gone. And I think the nice thing about these races is that you can just race without pressure, without expectations too much. If I'm first or last, it doesn't make me win another Olympic medal than I already have. So for me, it's really just about enjoying what I do, being in front of a crowd. Also today to say thank you to the Dutch and Belgian people who were everywhere in the crowd and who support me. So it's really for me all to enjoy. I just love to race, maybe sometimes a bit too much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's it, I think, for me. This one is, like you said, you race a lot. Like, do you ever have to mentally prepare at the top of January? Like, wow, okay, I'm gonna do a lot of races all the way to September through the year. No, not really. I think indoor, I always take it pretty easy. I'm just enjoying it, see what I do. I must say, World Relays was a bit challenging this year because it was really in a, 
a time where I wasn't peaking yet and I just came out of indoors. So this was for me challenging to see how do I go into these races. But for the rest, I always take it race by race. We always look at things to do good and we know a bit when we want to peak at races. So then I just enjoy it and I don't think about how much I race, especially not in tournaments because then I'll be tired before I start. <laughs> And then just last question for me. I know you've always, you love the hurdles, you love the 400 hurdles, but as fans, we always want to see you maybe dip into an outdoor 400, like, you know, in a kind of later in the season, maybe at your peak. Like, do you ever plan to potentially do that? I think it's just hard because I did the year of Munich 2022, I did combine it. But then one of the two is gonna be less good because for me, a 400 hurdles and a 400 is a completely different way of racing. And, Feeling the pace is pretty hard. This year at FPK Games, of course, it was not a great condition, but I'm a 50.0, and then two weeks later, I'm on a 50.9 over 400 hurdles, which shows that <laughs> the 400 was really not a good race. And yeah, I, of course, I would like it because I have a faster inner PB than outer PB, <laughs> which is not how it should be. Um, but I love my hurdles the most, so it's just what I prioritize. But who knows, maybe I will do it. But as long as I'm good in the 4x4 races, it's, uh, it's enough. Question for me: um, your, The party's coming to Netherlands in to Appledorn in March. Are you looking forward to that? What are the plans for that? Yeah, of course I'm looking forward to it. Right now I'm not gonna think about it too much because it's uh, <laughs> pretty soon, and I just want my rest right now. I think it will be amazing. This year I could race there. My world record at the nationals it was completely sold out already. So I think it will really be amazing. It will be amazing just for the Dutch people because athletics has grown so much in our country. It's really become a big sport. So I'm really proud that we get to host it now. Thank you.